Yo, what the hell is up, dog folks? Zach Hyde here, and today I wanted to let you know not to listen to Do Not Stop the Music by whoever the creator is, because apparently, even with headphones on, you can still hear the loudness of the song. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this, uh, another song, which cost me an entire video, won't be... The loudness won't be, uh, being a problem. Anyway, I'm gonna activate Runic Flashing Fire here. So, the song I'm listening to, I'm not gonna say the name, but, uh, it was created, um... It was created uh, a few years ago, um, seven years ago, so um, sadly, uh, but as long as it doesn't appear in the video, it shouldn't be too much worse. Anyway, from now on, I'm definitely going to double check my videos for uh, copyrighted sound content before... Um, getting anything, because uh, even though I didn't get a copyright strike, I'm definitely not doing that twice. I didn't know you could even get, like, something like this, so thankfully, uh, thankfully YouTube forgave me, so uh, huge thanks to YouTube, especially since I never published a video, so... I'm going to activate Runic Destruction now um, in order to target this. I know I only get to target it one at a time, but, you know, it's better than nothing. I'm not really sure his intention here outside of just burning me down. Okay, a little glitch with Runic Fountain here. That just still hasn't been fixed. Um, someone really needs to fix this glitch. Because you should not be able to activate two runic fountains. Like, the effect of runic fountain uh, shouldn't be displaying two, it should be displaying one. So, while I appreciate the platform uh, quite a lot, um, it's just... It's still a bit buggy. Even though it's just not buggy enough to switch. Okay. Then I'm going to activate Renick Slumber. Still, that is quite a lot of cards that he's got in his deck. But still, I guess I could keep playing Renick until, at least until the glitch is fixed. So if any of the developers is ever watching this video, please do fix this glitch. Uh, yeah, Runic Slumber. Now I am going to have to activate Chain Detonation here. And then Runic Destruction. Since I'm destroying cards twice as fast as he gets them. The main idea to defeating my deck is basically to stop my uh, Runic Fountain, but that's, you know, easier said than done. Anyway, I'm not sure what he has face down, but I'm not interested in finding out. Whatever it is, he wants me to attack it. Which is the last thing that's on my mind right now. Okay, that was kind of dumb, but, uh, should be fine. Yeah. 
And here we go with Chain Detonation once more. So yeah, while Chain Detonation seems useless, it actually is useful as an alternative win condition. In case, but as you can see, I'm easily draining his deck very, uh, very quickly. I wonder how he's going to counterplay. I mean, he's got to counterplay eventually, right? The beautiful thing about doing Runix uh, this way, uh, with this huge um, burning strategy, and then uh, all I gotta do is survive one more turn. Which, by the way, I have a mess ton of life points, like I'm gonna easily survive this. Oh, I can activate Runic Flashing Fire. Nice. Okay, folks. That, my friend, looks like a win. What? I see this as an absolute win. Oh, right, because you can't, um, you can't, uh, act you can't activate an effect because there's no cards in his deck. If okay, folks, so that's one win. Let's see if he lets me go first. And he does for some reason. You know, if your opponent lets you go first, it's normally a reason to watch out because that means uh, that they have some going second strategy to defeat you in one turn. Anyway, just about everything has synergy with each other. I mean, all he has to do is literally nothing and he would be able to defeat me. Okay, what's really scary right now is what that's going to do. Ooh, no, 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 no. I am not letting that card stay. Goodbye. Looks like he's not giving me much target with my uh, trap cards. It's alright though. Wait, why? I shouldn't be able to activate Runic Flashing Fire. Okay, maybe I should. 
Works for me. Okay, folks, let's see what he's got. He's got to make one heck of a comeback if he's going to get his way out of this. Hmm. I'm not going to actively ruining Flashing Fire just yet. Something tells me he's got more than one way out of this. Oh, no, you don't. Doesn't really matter which order I uh, pick them up in. See, so yeah, Nick Slick stands almost no chance. Time Thief, Time Thief, what? Man. During your main phase, you can banish his card. Time Thief. Okay. Doesn't bother me. These XYZ strategies generally um, fail to runics due to their inconsistent abil ability to summon more than one monster. <sighs> yeah. Wait, how? How did you just do that? <sighs> okay, so it's not like Time Thief Redoer, where you, um... And it's at least fortunate. Okay, a special summon that monster. Okay. That's no big deal. We can take care of that pretty easily. Unfortunately, now we can't activate Ruining Destruction. Oof. Hmm... So I gotta wait out this last turn, if I can. Oh boy, this is going to be a problem. What? Uh, um... No! How? I, I just had him! I had him in between my fingers and he slipped on the last turn. <sighs> okay, I'll confess, that was bad play. I should have just taken a look at the deck and thought ahead. 
that's on me. Well, folks, I think that concludes it for this video. I'm at 15 minutes. If you guys want to collab, do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear um, what you have to say have to say about this video and what I could possibly do to improve. So uh, with that, that said, this is Zach and